Hello and welcome back to the dungeon of Nahelbuk. Let's finish looking around the script. Oh, <laughs> finish looking around this part of the script. Hmm. I don't think there's anything. To see. Okay, so actually, right down there's one. So those statues, there's one in the crypt, one in the goblin floor, and one on the tavern floor, in the terrace. You'll see, I'll need it later, once we finally know what to do with that. Please tell me you won't have to find the dead king. The thief should be responsible for party looking around here. There's a lever here. Need to open that. Cool. You should always note your escape routes oh, on a map. Oh, in the basement. Okay, I see. I'm guarding. We finally explore this part. I don't like that. No one's going to comment on that. What happened? And once again, intellect triumphs. Come on, give me some. Beware. Harder. Curiosity sometimes kills the cat, then burns it to ashes. He's right. <laughs> Why did the sound cut off like that? Of course. Let's try it once again. Okay, there's a riddle on this wall. Should we try to solve it or keep going? Why not? Let's do it. I'm a box with no hinge, no key, no lid, and I hold a golden treasure. What am I? I'm a box with no hinge, no key, no lid, and I hold a golden treasure. I'm a box with, all, with no hinge, no key, no lead, and I hold a golden treasure. You're an egg! We have an egg? I know the answer, but I don't think we have any eggs. That I know the answer now. I had to give it a little thought, but we know it. I'm sure of that. The golden treasure is yolk. <laughs> I've heard it somewhere and that yeah, it just took me some time to remember it. Wait, how can I get that? Like we're going in circles. Yes, but this takes us up. How can we find a very distance? Huh. Wait, can we go even lower than this? Well, we should be able. 
we are in the basement. But we are already in the basement, so hmm. Oh, God. We can go even lower. Grom doesn't need a map. What? The? No, it's the creep. Oh, this is so strange. It's not that far wings. Oh, we found two or three items already. Butterflies, there you go, there are butterflies. Okay, that honestly was the... The ogre leveled up. Maps are granite, <laughs> I didn't expect, expect, expect that to have to work. So I am amazed. Poisoning them and stunning them. The ogre sniffs there are a couple of times the random piece of enemy as his next meal. The target suffers protection penalty, also with any stealthy. I don't think we need that the just the yet. Doggies. Let's maybe let's give it us to protection, more strength and more constitution. He has lots of HP. Nearly 200. Now, let's go back for those spider eggs. Oh no, or maybe not. No, 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 I know. Uh, no, I know where we can get them, I just know, don't know how we can get to them. Honestly, I have no idea how. Hmm. What should we do with that? Maybe there's one of those <laughs> rock walls we can get. Here you go. Hmm. We found the ingredients. Heavens! I, I wasn't expecting that. Good. I I'll start right away. There. One pill each. Great. <laughs> now let's go get that fucking goblin. Yeah. He'll saw his arms off with a cheer leg. Yeah. We'll boil his eyes out. Yeah. And smash his head against the table. Yeah. And then, and, and we'll wrinkle his clothing. Yeah. What? Akala yum yum gobo. He says he'll eat him when we're done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, something the brain understands. The Secrets of Chicken, Volume 1. I can't say this enough, chicken are not to be trifled with. Those beasts can be found almost anywhere, even in darkest dungeons. Some dungeon masters even breed them in old storage rooms to feed their creatures. Sometimes some of them manage to escape, wreaking havoc in their wake. Didn't you Chickens to feed your dungeon creatures. I carry a message. Express master? mail for you. For us? Mm. I'm looking for a party Don't including a hen gatherer, a book rat, a clumsy elf, a short tempered dwarf, a cowardly thief, a music loving ogre, and a brainless barbarian. You got the wrong team, pal. I could have sworn not, though. The message is addressed to their newest comrade. Here. Let me read this missive. <gasps> Great googly moogly! It seems my uncle now lives inside these walls. Is he a priest too? In a way, yes. He got a cerebral concussion and a divine revelation when he was hit by a cart during a fair. Afterwards, he became a preacher to spread the word of the gods. Is your whole family a bunch of nerds? While our relationship is barely cordial, he's still a close relative. I must find him. He writes that he's praying next to the well of souls. Let's hurry, my poor friends. Shouldn't you say, my dear friends? Well, of souls, the one in the basement. Let's go back there because there has to be a way for us to get this done, isn't it? Let's look at the map. We definitely should be go. Should we? We definitely should go over there. 
Maybe there's something hidden I haven't found yet. And I need a knight. <laughs> no? Let's see. Doesn't seem to be any lava here. Huh. You gotta admit, we do go through a lot of toilets. Yep. I told you, avoid using okay, the Okay, never mind. Maybe you know how to open You're right, Mo. We should get some rip. Hmm. And I also know the uh wait. There's another door. That we haven't opened. Oh. Of course there's another door that we haven't opened up yet. It's the one that needs an egg. From the trunk uh, in the cover. On the barkeep. You should try that. You should definitely try that. Maybe we should look around here for something. No. Yes, no, nothing. Okay, fine. Hello? Repent of your lives of debauchery, you fools! Eternal damnation will be your punishment! What's up with that nutcase? I think he's some kind of preacher. A slightly hysterical one. Wait, Uncle Stanislas? Flog your wretched bodies and... Mammies? What are you doing in this den of sin and perdition in the company of these degenerate Sybarites? What's a Sybarite? Don't torment yourself. My companions may be rustic and narrow-minded, but they're no degenerates. They couldn't afford it. Ah, uh, even when she's trying to paint us in a good light, she's still such a bitch. Alas! Sin has spread its roots in the soil of this place, and its seeds have found their way into our family's weakest link! Which link, my dear uncle? Our cousin Eugene is indulging himself in dreadful bacchanalias in here. He's wallowing in the mud of lust and debauchery. Eugene? But he was just a ridiculous spotty kid some mere months ago. I've tried to convince him to look away from the lure of sin, but he's under the influence of some heinous sinners. Indeed, we cannot let him dishonor our glorious name with his lavish feasting. Listen to those boogies and all their big fancy words. Yes, it's not on the same level as the belching contest at the tavern. <laughs> you wish you were me. Mm. Wow, just wow. You see, Uncle, this is the extent of their wretchedness. Bodily excretions as entertainment and a plebeian vulgarity. In that case, why don't you go these scoundrels of dubious hygiene into rescue and Eugene? A marvelous idea. Do you happen to know where he surrenders to those scandalous sins? He and his partners in sin gather in the room dedicated to noble characters at the inn. Alas, I cannot get in there myself, given my destitute condition. Your poverty is a kind that only men of faith can attain, and thus is honorable. I shall lead this company until we find him and bring him to reason. So you need some help to make your cousin a more dignified man. His dignity matters not to me. I only care about appearances. One's vices should be kept hidden. If he had indulged in them at one of our castles, it would have been fine. As I always say, out of sight, out of mind. Let us hurry, my lower class companions. Can someone remind me why we're still hanging with her? Yeah, well, we have a lot going on. We'll see if we can find the time. Come now, my handsome adventurer of dubious virility. Are you really willing to let a poor priestess face the threat weighing on her family's reputation? Or by her lonesome? No, it's... I mean, we'll come with you and, um... Yeah. Pathetic. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea whatsoever why we stick with her. Well, she heals, but now three of you can heal as well, so maybe we should exchange her for, let's say, Paladin. No, oh, actually, mm, maybe Bard. No, I can't stand. I can't stand the way he talks as well. Ooh. Well, we could leave them. There was a option to just go by ourselves. Hmm. Well, 
have to give it up the foot. Yes. Maybe that's the way for us at all. But then we'll miss out on such quests. And And remember, buy an egg. One single is heaven. Tell me you have an egg. Egg! Give that to me. No! Not my gold! Yes, your gold, I don't care. Let's get rid of this, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Maybe we should get rid of something. Yeah, we'll leave those because not everyone has them. Yes. Yes. I'm very sure he has something better. Gives cure as well, that means better. Alright, I need to give I will give him this skill. Being able to wear heavy armor. And let's go straight. Oh, let's start with that. Maybe since we were already here with this wizard. By the way, what's the difference between wizard and mage and sorcerer? So, how did your wife enjoy the faucet? No idea. She left a note and took off. She left me for the plumber. Oh. A plug. Hello, I think we've met before. Are you perchance related to Count Fergus de Hurst of Claude? Indeed I am, noble priestess, though the younger branch of the Baron Isidore of Wedgentush. Aren't you, mayhaps, the cousin of Octavia Gleaming Debaucherie? By marriage with Count Lamentable of Valebrook, whose abode was where we first met, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, I remember it fondly. What's happening now? Is this some kind of good? This is how noble people greet each other, by comparing their stupid standing. I'm so glad we get to meet again. It so happens I'm looking for a cousin of mine, Eugene. I've heard say he was to come here to attend some risque yet entertaining party. Certainly, I do know him, but surely such activities would be too daring for a priestess. Euclid's clergy is lenient when it comes to the exchange of bodily fluids, as long as the appropriate prophylactics are observed. A charming policy. Actually, there is to be a party soon, in a secret place you might find behind the den. How lovely! Oh, uh, one last detail. You will need a mask to conceal your identity. I look forward to meeting you there in disguise. I see we understand each other. And now, my commoner friends, where can we find some suitable masks in this malodorous castle? In the clothing shop, genius. So we have to go back to the basement anyway! Yay! Vivla random! Random transfer so that every piece of quests will... No, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just glad that everything comes together so smoothly. We'll wear ourselves masks. We will go give the egg to the door. However, that sounds, I don't care. And after that, we'll go looking for Eugene while still having in mind that we need spider eggs. Oh, come on! Look, there they are, guys! The priestess of Euclid and the peasants who escort her! What? Peasants? You got the wrong guys. What could these sinister boars want from us? We were hired to send you to your resting place. Don't resist, or your death will be anything but peaceful. What macabre intents. Come, my friends, to your battle stations. May your bodies be the walls that protect my noble existence. Or we could just hand her over. This chit that won't help us fill our contract. To battle, my fellow assassins! Yes, I think we will swap out the priestess after we're done with her story. Kodokon story. Mm. Okay. Who's going first? Okay, we're fine. I'm going to make you dance! 
Mm-hmm. Actually, let's give them this. Shield up! So seems like a better idea. And dude, you're not. My moving. turn, Roach. Would you mind killing this fool? Now, see me? How you doing? My How many turn actions now. Were, was that? I'm glad I raised My turn, the scum. Okay, can we get over? <laughs> okay, can we get over here and kill him? Don't stand so close to me. Press like this. Thank you. Thank you. So oh, wonderful. Now she me. Now you don't. Now <laughs> I benefit hurt. from the ogre having the sniff sniffs ability. It would be nice. Okay, let's try hitting him. Hopefully we won't meet those guys. Oh, he's printed. But you can shoot them. Or I can set an awful on overwatch. Yeah, might as well. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying real hard, okay? Oh, that's wonderful. Let me guess, you will Say hello stuff as well. to my little friend. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was amazing. Just wonderful. Okay, you can't really slap anyone, so let's over here and hopefully I'm here we'll just work. saying people tend to forget me ah, uh. I want you to stand over here and here oh, actually I want you to stand on over uh. you go next to her Hakina time! Don't you have to move? Yep, you do. This guy is gonna move next. So, since you're gonna move, I'm gonna overwatch. Oh, right here. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we do hit two of them. No. But this guy is next, so I want you to try and kill him. If it's possible. <laughs> It was possible, but it doesn't work. You're not going anywhere. You're still one in stealth. Good. That's things. Now you can try and stand the wolf. Yep. Mm. Mm. Which is amazing. Oh, no. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I can drop on him. Yeah. 
Good. Everything goes according to Move plan. it! You're in my way! Now you can go like this. And so oh, easy peasy. Unfortunately, unfortunately now you're go probably gonna get back backstabbed now. Oh no. Okay, you go over here and heal our ogre. You... you probably won't move. Let's make sure they won't. Now you're gonna get healed. Wait. You will heal her. He won't move because he's stunned, so he loses one action. One turn, one whole turn. Burning. Oh, be quiet. Ouch. We need to start hitting him. Ah. Oh, and he, he was poisoned as oh. well. I forgot about that. Mm. If you like yeah. have fun. So close. Yeah, mm. should we tell them? Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> they are not making that it out alive. Uh, they won't make it out alive. We are doing better and better. Please, we surrender! As professional assassins, we demand parley! Who hired you to slay us? Speak, brute! A salmon, ordained by his infernal powers! He heard you were investigating his orgies, and he wants to secure his assets! Alas, saving my cousin Eugene will be no easy task. No matter. My companions are truculent and hardy. They shall prevail! But first, we're gonna level you up. If it sticks, it's my boots. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, more health and more strength. Mm, yep, plus 50 max stamina. Stronger. Really use your. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, let's go for savage strong. Work, right? For you, you need a little bit of more constitution. Mm. And give you more intelligence. Mm. That way, ooh, that raises damage done. And maybe I'm getting better and better. A generation of your energy because I saw that you're not doing very well in this one. Anyway. Hello! A chat. Greetings, my fair mercantile wench. We're looking for masks to cover our features. Ideally some finely crafted designs with lace and ribbons. Check that booji bitch. I'll show her. Sadly, I don't have anything left, good priestess. The demand is very high. How unfortunate. Still, I shall, if I must, pay up front from my personal coffers. In that case, I'll show you the most popular designs we have. Wait, what was that about your coffers? I thought we were pooling all the loot. We were. That's the basis of a good party. I suppose so, yes. But as nobility and a clergywoman, I'm twice exempted. I get to keep my personal fortune thanks to my rank and my condition. What? She played us! Whereby out of principle I shan't charge you for the healing I provide since we're traveling together. She's like a stone in a shoe. Enough chatter. It's uncouth to talk about finances. Here, have some gold. Great. 
Thanks. Here are your masks. By the Holy Lancet, how grotesque. If Krom sees me like this, I'll never get into Valhalla. And I'll be blacklisted from all dwarven mines. It's the most sought-after design in the dungeon. It's the only one you'll find anyway. In that case, we'll wear them at the last possible moment to protect my reputation. Wait, why is it times three? Oh. Okay. Is it really maximum stack of items times three? <laughs> no, it just three and three. Three, three, one, one. Why? <laughs> why is it times three? Uh, yep. Well, not the right way, but it might be the correct direction. What do I do? Oh! So I'm supposed to go over there anyway. Oh, I don't want to go over there anymore. Okay, there's a riddle on this wall. Should we try to... Try. Why not? Let's do it! I'm a box with no hinge, no, no key, key, no, no lid. And I hold a golden treasure. Definitely what am not. I? And egg. Sometimes I can use my brain to think. And we should be able to go through. Yep! Yay, into the basement! Even further down the basement. We look like dumbasses. Yeah, it wasn't a win. I think it suits the dwarf. We can't see his face. You're the one to talk, you crustless pie. Let's make haste to the Bacchanalia and hope we don't meet someone who might mock our appearance. Uh, actually, I think that's gonna be you today. should always so, note your for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!